Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another unboxing. Today what we're gonna be unboxing is the Ryobi table saw. This right here is the RTS08 model of this uh, table saw. Before we get into this video, um, to be honest with you, I never owned a table saw. I never put a table saw together. I guess we're all gonna learn how today how to put together a table saw and we're all gonna see um, what's inside this big old box. All right, so uh, it says compact size for easy transport, steel frame mounts for added durability and strength. It includes uh, a blade, miter gauge, push stick, rip fence I guess um, that's it there you have that right there so uh, let's go ahead and let's unbox this thing alright so I had to take the box off of my workshop table and anyway let's see what we got up in here So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to lift this and I'm going to have to do it something like that. All right, so we got a, we got the power cord right here. How does this right here come? Oh, uh, what you have to do is this big knob here, which way does it turn this way? All right. All right, so we got that right there unlocked. And then this right here, you wanna take that, do that like that, till it's about, uh, yeah, 45. And then open this here, it sounds like broken glass. We have a lot of stuff up in this uh, box here. It's stuff uh, strolled everywhere. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this right here uh, wasn't a return. Nuts and bolts and all that crap, you know, just thrown around. Right here, we have our miter gauge. I forget what this right here is called, but yeah, this right here has been used. I can tell because I just uh, wiped off my workshop table. Yeah, see that right there? That's some wood right there. We got uh, some type of wrenches or something. Got another one here. I have no idea what this right here is. Um, I know it goes on top. What we need to do now is as you see this uh, orange little lever that's right here what you want to do is is you want to carefully pull that up and you want to do that pull that up all the way like that then you want to take this and you want to push that back down alright so I'm going to show y'all how to install this right here y'all see that bolt right there right what you want to do is is you want to take that bolt and you want to line it up right here it's this right here all right um i know i told you about this right uh right here all right now if you look real close right down there right there and keep in mind this right here this right here it goes in first so once you drop that in down like that it's gonna go like that then you're gonna want to take and you're gonna want to push this here down 
but it's best if you have these two locked into place with these little clip rings you just take this here see how it dropped in then you're gonna push down and you're gonna see this right here does that now this here that locks into place it's not going anywhere you can take uh, those right there and you can just do them like that now keep in mind now this right here is my first time doing this you just take that do that like that right there so move them back up that snap ring right there I'm just gonna call it a snap ring watch how it uh, kind of stretches a little bit then it clicks into place same thing with this side here you hear it snap into place it sounds like it's gonna break but it's not gonna break at all and this right here is the knob that we installed all right there is for the blade let me show you this here you just take that, slide it like that, and there you go. All right, so uh, you also have this nice fence. I have a magnet here. This right here is aluminum. All right, right back here. This right here will uh, grip onto the back of the table saw here, and I'm gonna go ahead and move quickly demonstrate that you just do that and there you have that right there and it's nice and solid now they say right down here is where your uh, fence goes but yeah your fence it can go right down there we have some feet right here if you would it's on all four corners you can get the Ryobi table if you wanted to but what I'm gonna eventually do is is where this craftsman saw is is what I'm gonna do you see that little cutout where I had made this right here was a few months back all right now with that right there being said this uh, saw here this table saw that's where she's going to be going and uh, I don't know when that video is will be coming just wanted to show y'all the on off button let's go ahead and let's get some close up uh, footage of this table saw Alright, so here is the fence. back of the fence here's the inside
here's the back. I think this right here is going to be a really good table saw for me for a starter. Um, again, I will have the modification, um, not really to this table saw, but I will have a modification coming real soon on the table that I showed earlier in this video. Stay tuned for more videos, more unboxings, more DIYs, more music. Thanks for hanging out doing a little bit of wrenching on some new stuff and um anyway that's gonna wrap it up for this video and i will see y'all in the next video